what's up youtube i'm gonna go ahead and tap right into the message y'all i'm not going to deliver the intro y'all pretty much know check the description box for if you want to donate or book a personal reading with me you're all welcome here at the honey pie oracle um and let's go ahead and tap into the messages because clearly the person from the past is trying to sneak their way was trying to sneak their way into the last reading so what i got i don't know if y'all watched the last reading all the way to the end i cleared off the table you guys you know that's not something i do normally um i'm the type of reader i feel like anything that goes on in the course of the reading is a part of the reading so what I what I got from that was right when you're going to be moving on and fulfilling your destiny and moving on to something greater, something that is in perfect alignment with you. You have a player energy that's going to show up. This is definitely someone that chose over you in the past or like this person was just they kept a lot of options. This was just a lot of someone with a lot of options. It was like I hear so many they didn't know who to choose from or who to choose. So I feel like this person could have chosen over you multiple times, right? This person always had options. And when I say options, like this could be in other suitors. This person could have, could just have put friends, family before you, anything, um, just not prioritizing the connection, right? Um, but now they're saying that the player one stop lifestyle that once defined everything they did has stopped looking enticing ever since they met you. So what I hear is thinking about it. Like this person is thinking about settling down, right? This person is thinking about settling down. It's because of your energy, um, things that you've told this person. Like you left a permanent mark on this person. It's almost like this. they want they want to be a better person, but they don't know how. So that's why it's only a thought at this time. This person is think of thinking about settling down. Like they're starting to think about it, right? And it has to do with the impact that you've made on this person. So whether you think... You are or not, you are, you do get through to people. Like you pierce that hard exterior. They're showing, okay, so I don't know if you watched earlier videos. Um, So this person, whoever they were, like this person had their ice was in a block of ice. I'm sorry, their heart was in a block of ice. You touch that block of ice and it melted. Like, so now this person is feeling at this time, right? This person is feeling a pull to want to settle down i feel like this person they never wanted to settle down not even with you when they had you is what i hear but now that you've gone and you moved on from this person and you've gotten your lick back and what i say by your lick back like i don't feel i don't think you i'm not saying you went out and you became a player or you played in this person's face like your lip your lick back was literally erasing all access to you this person is feeling that energetically right and at this time, this person doesn't know what to think with mixed signals being here. But this person also sent you mixed signals. Like this was a connection with this person. They were always hot and cold. Like, you know, like there was a time where you feel like you were getting somewhere with this person. And then just like that, like with the snap of a finger, switch of a light switch, this person would turn cold on you. It says that cloudy space between hot and cold is their way of telling you they're not totally sure if they're into you or not. Right? And this is what this person gave you. They were back and forth, in and out. But when this person was back and forth, in and out, they were off being a player. They were off doing other things. Like this person, you could have been dealing with someone that was very immature. I'm not even going to say very young because we know like age does not equal maturity. Right? You have some people, 50s, 60s, they're still, they ass still ain't grew up. Right? They just got bigger. They didn't grow. What K. Michelle said when she says uh, he got older but never grew for his life. He can't tell the truth. So that's the channel message for this song, you guys. It's K. Michelle, Can't Raise a Man. Let me write that down. She says he's already grown. What you gonna do? You wonder why he acts like a boy because he wasn't raised white right before you. So this person could have very well grew up in toxic home environments. And what I mean when I say that is that, you know, they'll have some parents, some mothers like they don't uh, everything they children do. They uphold that. Right. 
they make they make uh what their children do justifiable and in the eyes of their parents this person never did any wrong they couldn't do any wrong so this person doesn't feel like what they're doing is wrong they feel like it's is you know they're well within their right to do these things right and don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with not wanting to settle down there's nothing wrong with being unsure about a person but if you sit in that energy um what is wrong is leading someone on your best bet is to be honest honest is the best policy policy if you want to be a player go ahead and be a player but let people know that that's not what you're looking for you're dealing with someone who knew um what it is that you wanted they knew your level of intensity they knew your level of love they knew that you were ready to build and not bullshit and this person strung you along and strung you along and strung you along and had you waiting around they're showing me like hangman energy like they just had you waiting around um for something that they were not sure would ever come and this was the mixed signals and this person like i said they feel like they weren't doing anything wrong because you two had never committed to one another but yet i feel like you two we're still doing the things that committed people do as far as you know sleeping together swapping spit like y'all know like they wanted all the perks of relationship with not actually actually having to settle down and this is where this person fucked up at and now that you're off to a clean slate and you no longer want this person look you were always stuck in a loop with this person a pattern has become familiar to them and they are wanting to break free from the same loop they keep repeating. But then again, they they don't even know if they're they're thinking about it. It's a thought. At this point, it's just a thought because this person still sends out mixed signals. This person is still hot and cold. You know what else I hear? Like this person, you know, they'll have some people that are wrong you. And then when you call them out on their shit and you have um, every right to be upset because you've been hoodwinked and bamboozled like this will be the type of person that like, they'll try to fire back with a little sassy ass comment like you know all they they try this person or they'll be mad because you're upset right like yes i did you something wrong but now you're calling me out on my shit so now you're the bad person this person was is definitely definitely gives narcissistic vibes Like you could never get anywhere with this person, but not this person. Like and like I said, calling this person out on their shit. Like just because they didn't want to hear it, you guys. Just because somebody doesn't want to hear something, you have to say, or you don't want to hear something someone has to say. That doesn't make it any less of the truth. So like you could have written written this person like you know paragraphs, like letters, like explaining like this is what you do. You know that's not right. You know like you know I get if that's where your your, your past or that's what you saw growing up, or if that's where you allowed to or were allowed to get away with or quote unquote like this would be the type of person that you know they may very frequently say some shit like that's just who I am, right? But that's an excuse. Like to harm and be rude and be hurtful and just abuse people's the kindness. Like this is someone that definitely took your kindness for weakness. This person could have taken your love, your energy, money. Like this person just played the situation. It's like this person will give just enough to keep you hanging on, right? This person is very manipulative. Very manipulative. This person is, they live in their ego. And like this person, they have a, a, a fear of intimacy. Like this person has a fear of getting attached but yet this person was very much they they came off as detached but this person was very much attached to to pulling on your energy and having your energy around them right like this this person is giving me a headache like this person is giving me an, a headache very much so This is definitely someone. This could be a twin flame that you ended a connection with. Yeah, look, twin flame and grieving. Like, this this person is now in their feelings and foolish is here. Like, this person knows. Now they know. This person knows that you had the potential. This connection with you had the potential. Um, this person is looking at you now like it's giving power couple vibes, right? But now this person is grieving because you have released their ass. And now you're in solitude away from this person. You're not talking to this person. And now this person has a burning desire to come forward towards you. But you know what I feel like? I just don't feel like this person could... They, they This person has a weakness. They have a weakness. This person easily gives into temptation. They don't know how to say no. 
if an opportunity presents itself presents itself this person will definitely take it like you know and this is someone this may be someone who's very superficial so the only thing it may take to grip grip this person is like you know like a woman with a big ass or you know nice features or the latest trends the longest hair like you know this person goes for eye candy they don't dig deep for the soul because this is the type of person like this is a um uh, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. This is a good this is a good time type person. This person knows that they, they could have they you two could have been a power couple that this this could have now they're looking at you with power couple eyes, like twin flames, like this is my person. Like this person knows they're not gonna get no better than you, but this, still this person has a habit of still going out there looking. It's like the prob their problem is they found you and they kept looking. So the player is grieving because you've released them. You're in solitude. Now this person is in their damn feelings. Because even when they were pretending not to hear you or not to see you, you were leaving a permanent mark. Like this person, your voice is raining in their head. Like spirit is putting you in this person's face. And did they have to suffer through this? Because this is, is, is mixed signals, right? This person was sending you mixed signals. But you know what I hear? The signal you sent this person was very clear and direct. Because you released them. You cut their asses off. But a lot of you, you blocked this person. And with you, this is the thing. You, you took that for so long. You were stayed stuck in that same turmoil with that person for so long. This person just thought that this was, this was how it was just going to be. Like you were going to stay and wait. Like you were just gonna stay and wait. It's almost like their per that person, like um, like you gave them per the impression, especially with this mixed signal. Like what you showed this person by waiting around and enduring all of that was that you love them more than you love yourself. And this person was banking on that. It says you're the queen of their heart, the queen of their fiercely guarded castle. It it's only fear that makes them run, right? So, like, yeah, this person knows that you could have been a power couple. And this person knows that you are queen in your own right. Especially with these clovers being here. Like, good luck charm. What I'm hearing is good luck charm by Jagged Edge. Like, this person knows, like, you know, in their life. Like, when you were in that, when you're in their life, good things happen to them. And then when you're not, this person just feels so drained. They feel so heavy. They feel so lost. Like, without you. It's because you left a permanent mark on this per person. There's another song. Hmm. Give me a second, you guys. Um, Keisha Cole. Keisha Cole, the name of the song is called Signature. And she says in the song, she says, you sign your name on my heart. And it's sincerely yours. You sign your name on my heart. You left a permanent mark on my heart. So, yes, this person does have love for you, right? This person sees you, you know, if, if they were to settle down, it would be you. But at this time, at this point, the damage has already been done. It has already been done. Like, is this person has done too much. You've endured too much. You know, there's been, like, too much done. Like, this person did the most, right? You know, it's some things, you guys, we just cannot come back. People, you just cannot come back from certain shit. And a lot of people don't understand that. But you know what I feel like? This person, like I said, they were so accustomed to people just taking and taking and taking and taking that they never had to change who they were. Right? This is someone they never they didn't they never got left. They never got left. This person would always leave before they got left, right? Because they knew the, the shit that they doing it that's that's not right. It wasn't right. You know, but because this person was able to get away with this, and I'm talking about in past relationships and past friendships, like, you know, the mom or dad, and they never, they never taught this person right from wrong. Like, they upheld all this person's bullshit. Like, right? But now, you being gone, what happens here is it's time for spirit to tame that beast. 
yeah it's gonna be a breakthrough in their divine blueprint and this was meant to happen it was meant to turn out this way it says they're undergoing they're going within to find their higher purpose and discover the meaning of life and disconnection and then it says they are planning right now to come towards you to ask for a second chance expect communication real soon right but what i feel is this is a part of their journey like they had to come to this point, like they had to meet a, they had to meet a powerhouse such as yourself, because this, they, it takes a certain person to teach a certain person lessons. Nobody in their past couldn't do it, it from their mama on down. Like nobody, but it's I feel like you came in with such purity, and thank you for the confirmation, spirit. You came in with such purity and you just poured into this person effortlessly. You love this person unconditionally, like flaws and all. And you saw the flaws early on. You saw the flaws, right? But you stayed pure. You kept your heart open. Um, and once you move away, once you release this person and you go into solitude, guess what happens? You being in the way of this person, you being with this person, your energy, being that you are so guarded, you're so protected by the universe, you block this person's karma. You block their justice. And your justice don't have to be a good, like a bad, always a bad thing. Justice could be a good thing as well. In this case, justice just means their karma. So everything that person did in, in the past before you, it had to come around. And what happened was this person hooked up with you. And you were such a powerful being that, look, back and forth is here. So definitely this was back and forth. This was a back and forth energy. But anyway, like you are such a powerful being that you blocked this person's karma. Because you are so protected. Anything that you touch, anything that surrounds you is protected as well. And this is why this person was able to escape karma for so long. But not anymore. Spirit said it's time to tame the beast within it's time to tame this person because it was back and forth. It's time for this person to settle down. Even if this person decides that they don't want to be married or they don't want to be in a committed relationship. Like spirit is nudging this person to do the right thing, which means speak in truth. Like let people know, hey, you know, this is what I want. I don't think. I don't think that. Thank you for the confirmation spirit. I don't think that, you know, this is going to work because we want two separate things. Like all the back and forth. It's time for this person to stop and grow up is what I hear. I hear grow the fuck up. Okay, spirit. Okay. Okay, you guys. So let's get some messages. Let's see what this person wants you to know at this time. Um, let's see what this person wants you to know at this time. And then we'll go ahead and end the reading, you guys. So. Give me a message, Spirit. What does this person, if this person was not blocked by fear or if this person was not energetically blocked, what does this person what would this person tell um my collective what does this person want my collective you know if they weren't cloaked in ego and you know what that ego even with solitude so you may have pulled away from this person but this person they may they may or may not be trying to reach out to you like if this person is not trying to reach out you guys it's only because of ego like this person literally has a cloak thank you spirit this person is cloaked in ego this person was cloaked in ego like this person they hide behind material things like they do this person has an unfounded fear of love and intimacy what does this person want what, what would this person say to my collective what would this person say to my collective spirit the hangman i'm seeing things differently now from a different perspective didn't i say this person had you hanging around for something that you are not sure that would ever come like this person um they would want you to know that they saw they're sorry they left you hanging. Also, this person will want you to know that they're they're going to wait for you to come back. They see things differently. They're seeing you in a different light. They have a new they have a newfound respect for you is what I hear. Also, this person what I'm hearing is I'll wait for your return, like hanging around. Like this person will wait for you to come back. So this person won't reach out reach out towards you, but this person would love for you to reach out towards them. This person would love for you to come come back to them. I hear one more time, right? 
Oh, King of Cups. Like, this person wants you to know they do have love for you. But they hit it. Like, when the hangman is in a, in a reverse, this is somebody that steps off of being hung up. And this person is ready to... They're ready to sp spread that knowledge. They're ready to put things forward into action. This person wants you to know that they have a massive amount of love for you. Also, the King of Cups, he's real stoic. Like, he may have house a lot of love, but that don't mean he's, he's going to express it, right? They don't express love. Hangman, this person is hanging on to their emotions. This is someone who hid their emotions from you. The love that they have for you, they hid it from you, right? To a source. And this person played this sick game, this sick back and forth game, and sent out mixed signals, right? The two of swords, that's it's literally mixed, mixed signals. Like, I hear if you are ever in, unsure about how I feel about you, I do love you, right? They I would also want you to know that they're sorry that they couldn't give equally to the connection. I want you to know that I'm sorry I couldn't give equally to the connection. I want you to know that I'm sorry I hurt you by being a player. I want you to know that I'm sorry for breadcrumbing you. Wow. They kept, this person literally kept you in limbo. Knight of coins. I'm sorry that I didn't have anything to offer you. That the offers were slowing in between. And then when I did have something to offer you, I, 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 I just stood there. This person literally just stood there. This Knight of Coins, this Knight of Pentacles, this is a slow moving energy. In the other deck, you guys, this Knight of Coins, this Knight of Pentacles, he just it stands at a standstill on a horse. Like this person literally has the offer in hand. And this person stood on the back of their hands. They know, this person knows that you are the one that they were supposed to give that offer to. But instead, this person went off and they meddled with a third party. This person was very action driven was very lustful also what i hear is like this what i hear is this this third party whoever it is they don't they don't hold a candle to you is what i hear y'all sam i hear he or she is not like you she's not like you but i you know what else i hear she said he she or he accepts me so whoever and find themselves with they may they may accept this person's bullshit they may turn a blind eye to it whereas you didn't like you actually made this person look at themselves you made this person look at themselves with that permanent mark here oh definitely uh, they also want you to know they still have an offer that they're gonna sit on look three of swords i was gonna say tell me about this three of wands you have three of swords like it's heartbroken. This person is heartbroken. They know, like, I know I hurt you by not telling you how I felt, right? I know this is what destroyed the connection. You have three and two of swords, which is five of swords. Like, this person, they also feel like this this is really over the world. Like, I feel like you turn your back on me, eight of, eight of cups. Like, it's hurting me. My heart is broken now that you've ended this connection. I'm grieving. This person is grieving. And you know what else I hear? The third party can sense this, but... Like he or she, they ask me what's wrong, and I, I there's no words for me to explain. But this person is really grieving and heartbroken by the fact that you are no longer in their life. Like they can't recreate your energy. Whoever this person ended up with is for stability, you guys. Like this person ended up with this third party for stability. But this is not where they want to be. This person is not happy. They're not happy. Look, tower. This person is going through tower after tower after tower. And this may be internally or in the mind. This person could also be having financial issues. Because, you know, once you remove yourself from a situation such as this, when you're a literal earth angel, you allow the universe to usher in that karma. Right? And here with it, here's how we're going to end the reading with the seven of swords. This is clearly as they, whatever you do in the dark comes to light. This person feels like you know all their secrets now. You can't hide. They can't hide from you anymore. And this is why you won't want to be with them. This two of cups. Like it's over. They feel like you've moved on to something better. But whole time this person chose over you. And you know what I hear? I wish you nothing but the best in your new relationship. So I don't know if you're with someone or talking to someone. But this person, they peeping you out. They trying to see what you have going on. They wish you nothing but the best. But this person is still heartbroken by the demise of this connection, y'all. So I hope this helps y'all. See y'all in the next video. Bye.